Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Izu and today we're talking about Sims 5 or the next Sims game, whatever the name is. And there's a lot of things Sims 4 did wrong. <laughs> I'm not gonna even like pretend that's not there. We all probably know what the state of Sims 4 is and was when it launched it was unacceptable <laughs> like no game as big of sims and the franchise should ever be launched like that let's hope that the next sims game isn't gonna do that and also there's gonna be a lot of things on this list <laughs> get some tea or beverage of choice and some snacks and let's Sorry. I have all the things listed on my phone, so I'm sorry if I'm looking down. I don't have any real order in this list. Yeah, it's gonna be quite chaotic, but hey, <laughs> what is not? So, the first thing I really want to see in the next Sims game is an open world or an open neighborhood. And now that we started with the worlds. Another thing I want them to do is create a world or at least edit the existing worlds. That feature in Sims 2, I think, and Sims 3, that was the best thing ever. I made so many neighborhoods and so many worlds. We need only livable worlds. I am so sick and tired of the destination worlds, apart from Mount Marebi, not being livable. Like, <sighs> The Sims is already a very American simulator, and not being able to live in, for example, Selva Dorada makes it seem like people don't live there and don't have lives there, and you go there just to be a tourist and that is not the case <laughs> there are people living in there so why can we not live there it needs to be like mount Komerebi that you can do both okay then we go to most people's favorite part which is gameplay and lore <laughs> So yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna be too shady, or I'm trying not to be too shady, but yeah, Sims 4... It's... Sims 4 is an American building simulation, and I really do wish that when they come out with the next Sims game, it's gonna resemble more Sims 2 and Sims 3 rather than Sims 4, because we need the heart and the soul of that quirky sims franchise back in the game so build and buy in sims 4 is really good that is probably the best part of that game in my opinion at least i really do hope that sims 5 or the next sims game will keep the overall tools and what we can do in sims 4 but i do hope that they improve on it so i do want to see more customization like i want to see spiral stairs diagonal stairs i want bins back into the cabinets under the counter like all the other sims games but i also want to see different wall heights to be like able to touch like you could have a tall wall and then a short wall and then build them like touching the camera in game so it needs to still work as the sims 3 camera that needs to stay if they get rid of that i'm gonna cry because <laughs> i need that but also they need to have some kind of like invisible level if that makes sense because every time if you have a second story or a third story house or a penthouse or anything that's above one floor the camera just goes wild because when you're trying to like go near the edge of the house and do something the camera just drops down 
or like falls off the roof or something so we really really need like an invisible layer or floor so when you're on the second floor or the third floor or however many many floor <laughs> the, the camera still stays on that height unless you go really far out or at least you need to have an option like a key that you can press down next one i have on my list is sims animations and although sims 4 animations are okay i still think they could improve that i think we need to mesh all the previous sims games together and then we'll have something good and i want to have sims do things differently than other sims and i want the traits to like affect their animations and their mood and their like life the traits and how the sim is and everything needs to like go together to create a person like one unique sim and the animations do make a big role in that situation because like for example lazy sims could be like doing stuff lazily like they would eat very like slow and not walk very fast something like that like small touches to the animations tied together with the traits i would love to see that then above the sims is the ages and i thought about this long and hard what i'm about to say is gonna probably not happen <laughs> but i would love to see active ages i don't know if that is like a proper term um i mean when sims age they should age slowly and when they reach a point let's say like two-thirds of their age something changes and also i really want to see more life stages we need babies that are like actual sims and not objects and then we need toddlers and i think the toddlers in the sims 4 are quite good then we need preteens and teens to be separate and this is where the active aging comes along so my idea was that we have only teenhood and when a child ages up into a teen they go into the half mark of a teenhood like half of the teen is preteen and half of it is just teens and it could work like the first half the teen was very like more towards still like a child and had like stuff related to teens but not too much and when they become a fully fledged teenager then they unlock something they their appearance might change or they could unlock something like all the romance options or something like that and also i do want to see small romance aspects on the preteens like small like just innocent crushes or like a first kiss or a kiss on the cheek or something like that nothing major just like little introductions to the romantic side of life so i would love to see that and that would mean when preteens become teenagers they'd unlock the full romance options that adults have so that was my reasoning behind the active aging and also we need adults middle aged and elder and the same way with adults i think we could have one third of adult life be young adults part then the middle part the second third would be adults like adult adults <laughs> and then the third could be middle-aged i just wish that the aging wouldn't be so like clear cut as it is in the sims 4 i want to add that 
teens and preteens or either or they need to be shorter than adults like sims for teens look exactly like adults only difference is that they're a bit narrower <laughs> like the jump from a child to a teen is so big in sims 4 it's ridiculous first they're like 12 and then they become 30 <laughs> it's like something needs to change and to add to that we need to let go of the aging to an elder with your hips <laughs> when you age to an elder from an ad adult your bone structure doesn't change <laughs> your bones stay the same only maybe a bit more fragile but you know what i mean like we don't just go like and that's it we're an elder <laughs> I really want that fitness levels and the way your sim has lived their life impacts the way they look as an elder. Not every single elder has these wide hips and a hunchback, that makes no sense. Then the next major thing is the whims. I don't mind them in Sims 4 but I wouldn't say I like them either because they usually have nothing to do with the sim. I want wants and fears back. Then sims need some kind of things they want in life, things they have to like work towards. And also they need the negative part of life too. They need to be afraid of some something. And when we're talking about fears, not every single person or sim fears the thunder. Like it drives me crazy. It's such a small detail, but I hate it with every cell in my body because <laughs> I love the thunder. Oh, it drives me crazy when my sims just run around being very uncomfortable and moaning about Oh no, there's a thunderstorm, I can't do this. And I'm like, oh, get over it. <laughs> I get so mad, oh my god. <laughs> But I really, really need it to be like the fruitcake that some sims like it and some sims don't like it. But not every single sim have to be afraid of the thunder. Please! I do want to have more traits. We need more traits and especially negative traits. It feels like we have 10 traits in the whole game. <laughs> And while we're at it, veganism is not a trait. It's not your personality to be a vegan. <laughs> it's a choice you make. And we need more traits to have in one sim. Like, we need five traits at least for one sim to have. And also, I do want to see something similar to The Sims 2, I think, that had the horoscopes. It doesn't have to be the horoscopes themselves. It can be anything else. It can be the, the personality type or anything. We need to have some kind of personality in Sims. Like not every single Sim is the same. We need some kind of difference between them. And I think the horoscope thing that Sims 2, I think it was Sims 2, might have been Sims 3, I get them mixed up a lot. I, I'd love to see something like that. And then the cast. I want the creative sim to look like in Sims 4. I really do think that is the best way Sims franchise has done the creative sim. I really want the Sims style to be like Sims 4, but with custom content if that makes sense i don't want to see clay hair i don't want to see more cartoony looking sims i need them to be like sims 4 but a bit more realistic like the sims i make on my channel with cc that's the perfect way of presenting sims in my opinion <laughs> i'm not saying i'm making perfect sims i need alpha hair i know some people don't like it and i know these can be modded i can download cc but if if i'm the one 
making this list <laughs> i really want to see alpha hair or more like alpha hair and things that i really wish to see in cast and these include skin details well we do have that but we need more like options in skin details then we need body hair it's just weird <laughs> to have no body hair and then one thing i really really wish they will do is the lock outfit because it is so tedious to do every single outfit over and over and over again when they could just have the little lock like in sims 3 or like in vampires when you have the vampire form i need real eyelashes i am so annoyed with the sims 4 eyelashes they're complete trash <laughs> they're awful and i know that even the people that don't use dc use the eyelashes if they can and i really need them to have that back because we had eyelashes in sims 3 so where did they go? <laughs> I, I don't want to see the unilash ever again. <laughs> and then one thing I did not understand myself first when I, I heard it. But when somebody explained it to me, I understood the importance of making queer option for gender in Sims. Like you could have the male logo or the little sign and then the female and then queer for some people that is really special and important i said this list is long so bear with me <laughs> the game needs to understand relationships and that means when you go to your parents house or your best friend's house or your brother's house you can take a freaking shower. I hate the thing when something's inappropriate. Like you need to add your sim into that household to take a shower uh, in your parents' house. Like it, it, no, it doesn't make any sense. So I hope that Sims 5 will take into consideration the little like bar how how well your sims know each other and if it's passed at like say 80 percent you can be at their house as in your own house like if my friend is visiting and they want to take a shower here take a towel and then your your like friends or families coming to your house playing on your pc like even i would not like that if if my friend were to come in here and just open my pc and just like i don't know whip up my sims and start playing i would be like girl what are you doing that is inappropriate not showering <laughs> like oh my god <laughs> i'm sorry i'm ranting but you know how annoying that is and also i do want to get some more teen and adult appropriate gameplay in the sims 5 sims 4 like it or not it is for kids their prime target audience is 10 to 12 years old that is how it is like that is how the sims 4 is presented i would argue maybe 70 percent of the sims community of all over the world is over 17 years old like it's just if you have a teen rating you need teen content and that can't be only that your sims can woohoo that like it needs to be something more i'm not saying any nasty things don't twist my words but we need more quirkiness and more fun things like that just like in sims 2 on, or sims 3 it was a spicy game but that is what makes sims so lovable and then one very important thing to me is story progression and lore the sims 5 needs lore and it needs story pro pro 
progression it doesn't have to be automatically there like some people don't want that so you can just click that the story doesn't progress while you're playing but for us that really like that the sims feels alive it needs some kind of story progression and i really hope they do that in sims 5 and then before i finish i want to talk about the multiplayer co-op mode and multiplayer games are really popular and i too have always wanted to play sims with my friends like co-op that would actually in my personal opinion be very good if they do it good so the way sims 5 could work as a multiplayer game is that you have your own saves that are your personal single player just you nothing else other than maybe gallery so the the sims that we're all used to you have that and you can use mods you can use cc you can do whatever you want in these saves but then you have the option to have another save and add your friend in there just like in stardew or you can visit other uh, other islands on animal crossing or any other game like that i would love them to do it the same way that stardew does that you can play co-op with a friend you can have another save you add them through a code or from origin and then you can play together i think that would be amazing and that concludes this monster video <laughs> i've been talking so much that i actually almost dislocated my jaw <laughs> I'm very curious to know what you think about it. I would love to know what things you would like to see in Sims 5. If some of the things I mentioned were like something you don't want to see in, in Sims 5, I would love to know what you think about all this. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of me, you can follow me and click the bell button to get notified every time that I post and I hope you have a lovely day or night a week or weekend whenever you're watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one bye